Today's free file is a browser that's as fast as your Uncle Fred's Firebird from 1984. It's the latest from Mozilla. Sarah is here harnessing the power of I Mozilla. Am. Now, you love Mozilla. I do. I think it's the love best Mozilla. browser for the Windows platform. Lots of people love Mozilla. The nice thing about Firebird is it's just a smaller version of the same thing. It doesn't have a mail client, news reader. Some things are taken out, so it's just overall a smaller thing that you have to install. It's, it's kind of like the next generation of, of uh, Mozilla, really. Exactly. Yeah. It is fast, brother. It's fast. fast. Windows, Linux, Mac people can all use Firebird. Um, it is a great little browser. We actually have Mozilla.org up, but this is actually the in the browser. In the browser. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like the, so browser. the browser that we're using is is, is Firebird. Exactly. It looks just like a regular browser. This is Firebird. It looks a lot like Mozilla. You've got tabbed browsing, as everyone knows, is a wonderful, wonderful thing to That's have. That's the main reason I use IE. I, I love tabbed browsing. That you don't use IE? That I don't use Internet Explorer. I use Mozilla for the tab browsing alone. Exactly. And just with a very simple control click. So you control click anything. Control click anything. And it will open in a new tab. And it will open in a new tab. See so that up there on the top there? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, here we go. It's so, a very like, uh, I want to read this later, not write this right. second, but I want to. Right. And you can my have collections list. of tabs, which I do for news. Exactly. I have like 12 news sites that I go to. Mm -hmm. Click it once, it loads them one by one, and then they're all there. And it seems like what Firebird has decided to do is they, they don't really want it to be crazy different where the where, where the different browser. Right. They want to like kind of get you. They want to give you everything right. that you already have, right. but just a little bit better. Okay. Um, in the tools area, you know, if you go into options here, we've got um, you know pop up blocking, of right? Pop up blocking. Very important. Google toolbar is built in. Yeah. You get the Google toolbar. Well, it's not the Google toolbar, but it's the, the, the functionality of the Google. Exactly. Right. It's yeah. right. Oh, there it is. Right. right. What you got See, here? That's in the Apple Safari too, and I love. I'm hooked on that too. I love it. Yeah, because it's always there. I'll never live without it, actually. Yeah. And then if you go into the privacy here, this is a lot like what you'll see in IE, mm -hmm. but I just find it more intuitive. Yeah. You know, you Easier want to, you want to clear your yeah. safe passwords, done. There it is. You want to clear your manager right. history, done. Right. Cookies, right. all that stuff. I just kind of like the way it works. If you have a Mozilla extensions, which there are quite a few of, um, in fact, I'll show you a little bit later in the show one of them. This would be where you would find them. Advanced options. This is going to look really familiar. Are you mocking me? No. Are you mocking my I'm, stature? I'm just standing at a because I want you know that we should be. At, you you want to make me feel. They like put more Cary of Grant a, man. a trench, but we didn't have a trench. I don't want you to feel more like a man. Why you know that they you? wanted me to stand on an apple box? This is true. <laughs> All right, I'll stand up. You ever see the trouble with the shot, then the He's camera has to go up. He's actually so, so tall. Look how I'm tall I'm not that tall, but whenever I stand next to I'm Regis. I'm six feet tall, so you must yeah, be. Yeah, I'm eight. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> People said that when I was on Regis, because both Regis and Kelly are your, are your height. Regis, too. Oh, they're both the same height. Yeah, a little guy. And uh, I look like a giant. A big giant? Yeah. Well, it's nice. It gives you that powerful look. <laughs> anyway, um, we've completely gone off track, but Firebird, Firebird is great. You know what you can also do, too? If you don't actually want to install it, you can just download. It'll give you um, a zip folder. You can just run the executable from oh. your desktop. So you don't have to. It's no big project. No. Just if to you see what it's like. To, yeah. If you want it to be in your program files, you can, of course, install it. But it has it has some really great options for people who are like, I love Mozilla, and I want the smaller, cleaner version. Right. Would you say this is the future of Mozilla? This is where they're going? Yes, I would. Well, there you go. That's there you where go. you should be going, too, if you're a Mozilla fan. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. Our free file, the link is on the website, techtv.com. That's right. Call for help, or just go to mozilla.org. Right now on the phone.